Hi everybody, it's Rose, and today I'm going to be showing you one of my DIY projects that I recently did. So, if you know FNAF, Five Nights at Freddy's, Five Nights at Freddy's 1, or and 2, you have those lights, the door, op the door that opens with the button, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm a little out of it today, the button, the two buttons, in the first game it's two of them, in the second game there's only one. Well, there's two, but I'm the number of buttons on each side. I'm just gonna say the number of buttons on each side. First one there's two, second game there's one. And you have to press the buttons to like look at the lights for in the doorway and in the what was it called? The vents. I was trying to remember if it was vents or doors. But it's not, you have the ceiling, the vent thing, and the third, and there's no really lights besides flashlights, except for those few. So today, we are going to be making, I'm going to be showing you the light switch. Um, I made this light switch, um, the fun is pretty light. But the funny thing is, I don't have like buttons on my lights. You, some of you guys might have buttons on your lights, like the old houses, where they have the two buttons, the one button on, one button off. So, but I have like the flick on, flick off light switch that most people have. So I decided, I was actually, how I got the idea for this, was I was looking at my light switch. I was like turning my light, I turned my light on. I was also like, drawing FNAF at the time, and I, my little sun was starting to go down, it's night time, and I just realized, I was drawing my Five Nights at Freddy's because it was Five Nights at Freddy's one picture. I think I hung it on my wall. Wait, this wasn't back when I drew one. I was looking at an old drawing of Five Nights at Freddy's. And it's from the first game. And it's of my old OC and Bonnie. And Bonnie's coming into the office. Uh, I'm not going to show a picture. I'm not going to go get it off my wall. It's too much work. And they have like the double light switch on it. And I'm like, and I look, and because I was turning my lights on, I realized I have a white, the switch part that actually turns it on and off the light is white. And the surrounding part of it is black. So I decided to do a Finance Freddy's thing. Now, I'm not allowed to actually paint on this. It is like a few paint smudges, but that's from when we were painting the house. I know my walls are pink and it's a white smudge, but. Uh, we had to paint somewhere white, I think. I had white paint on my hands, and I would kind of touch the, where the light switches, and so that was an accident. And plus, if I got, ever got out of half, I wouldn't be able to have that off there unless I used a nail polish remover or something. And I didn't want to go through that hassle when the time came, just in case it didn't work. So I decided to make a, this little light switch thing. <laughs> it looks like a picture frame. It's a picture frame that you put over this over your light switch thing. So, yeah. So first of all, I'm going to tell you guys how I made it. So first of all, it is made out of cardboard. Good old cardboard. And I tried writing on the one side. I messed up. It was way too small. So I just wrote on the other side. And I think I'm going to do my, the second coat of paint soon. And, yeah. So this is white paint. I, first of all, I didn't have black paint at the moment. Or black spray paint. I have black spray paint, but I'm not allowed to use it right now. I'm not using it right now. So I had to completely color this with a black Sharpie marker. A black Sharpie marker. This is all drawn with a black Sharpie marker. Then I had the little, then I took white paint because I don't have any white markers because they don't make white markers except for white out and I don't have any white out. And I painted on lights. Some parts of it need a another coat of paint on it because it's over black. Now I tried writing these the best and neatest I could. You could use stencils if you would like. I don't recommend it though because I tried using stencils before and the stencils were way too small. So make sure you guys have good set stencils for it. And this is good to get for like a Christmas present or a birthday present to someone who really likes Five Nights at Freddy's a lot. 
and you can like make it and also you have this little cardboard place which I'm making mine I'm either deciding debating whether to make it into a prop for a video like you could always make it like a prop like a card like I'm tempted to do a maybe do a video uh you can make it into like I know if you like Alice of Human Sacrifice you would want to do a, like a live action version you could paint like a like the Ace of Hearts on here because I know there's less of a big part in the story is the Ace of Heart the Ace of Hearts which is the a, the trump card actually as they say but I'm not actually I'm thinking about working on it but I don't have the cast but it's hard to explain I don't think I'm gonna be able to do one but I might be able to if I get good editors to help me and I only have one no one editor and I do not want to have to ask them which reminds me check out my pranking my ex video and then after that my sorry video you know let's just say Let's just say, I don't want to explain it, I tried to prank my ex. I should have put attempting to prank my ex, because it didn't work in the end. But, you know, what else? So, I switch. I might post a picture on one of my accounts. Um, I am actually do have a Wattpad account, a DeviantArt account. Um, they're both by different usernames, so, though, so I had to get it fixed. Twitter account, and I'm going to try making a Facebook. Trying? I don't know if I'm gonna, but I'm trying, okay? So don't go searching me on Facebook until I post something. And by the way, I might do a name change from Scary Mary to my, to one of my other usernames, and I'm trying to figure out a way to do, to change my Divine Art username, which reminds me, if anybody from Divine Art is watching this, Please, just please, for God's sake, make it so that you don't have to be a member and pay to get your name changed. It's stupid. You have to be a member, like a core member, because the, there's this thing called core on there. You have to be a core member, and you pay for a core membership, and you can change your name, but you can't if you don't have a core membership. It sucks. I have to make a new account, too, which I'm keeping this. I'm either, I'm still trying to. I'm either changing account soon, or I'm just going to use this account and change the name. So, I don't know. But, yeah. So, this is the light switch they made. And I'm just rambling on now, so I should just... Yeah, so, the light switch. Um, the light on the light switch. Um, and put the light switch on. And, yeah. So that's all I wanted to say for now. Um, thank you guys for watching my video and learning how to make one of these things with steps. I tried filming the other steps, but let's just say we had a lot of technical difficulties with my camera. Well, my tablet. My tablet is what I'm using right now. That's why everything looks kind of different. It's because I'm using a tablet and I was originally using my laptop. So yeah, as always, um, like comment, subscribe, everything. Um, I'll. Put in the comments what do you want me to make this into this is actually like goes in here and see it's this but i popped it out because i need to put my actual like thing there so yeah what should i make this should i make it a bookmark um something for an extra something for another video should i make it like a badge or something what should i make it i don't know so off camera i'll decide if i want to do anything with this and if i do i will probably post about it so yeah i like switch so yeah i hope you guys like this video like comment subscribe and i will see you all later